Good morning. Hello. Hello there. How can I help you today? Who are you? I am an AI language model created by Devon Sharora. You can think of me as a virtual assistant designed to help you with tasks by responding to your input and providing relevant information or assistance. How can I assist you today? Tell me a story. Sure. Here's a short story for you. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Lily who loved to play in the forest near her house. She would often wander deep into the woods and explore all the different paths and trees. One day, while playing in the forest, she stumbled upon a small, abandoned cabin. It was old and worn, with vines growing up the walls and an old rusty gate that creaked when she touched it. Lily was curious about the cabin and decided to investigate further. As she pushed the gate open, she was surprised to find that the cabin was not empty at all. Inside, she found a group of friendly animals who had made the cabin their home. There was a family of birds in the rafters, a little mouse scurrying under the floorboards, and a friendly rabbit nibbling on a carrot in the corner. The animals welcomed Lily with open arms and showed her around their home. Lily was thrilled to have made some new friends in the forest after spending an afternoon playing with the animals. She promised to visit them often and said goodbye until next time. From that day on, every time she went to the forest, she would visit the cabin and play with her new animal friends. And although she was always a little sad to leave, she knew that she could always come back and visit her furry friends whenever she wanted. What was the moral of the story? The moral of this story is that sometimes the most unexpected friendships can be the most rewarding. When we approach new situations and people with an open mind and a willingness to learn. We can discover amazing things and make lifelong connections. Even though Lily was young, she was able to connect with her animal friends on a deeper level and learn from them. This shows that no matter how old or young we are, we can always learn and grow from unexpected experiences and friendships. Hello guys, in this video I will show you how I used the OpenAI Chat API and made a virtual assistant using it. The first thing you need to do is to get the API, you need to go to this site and log in here. Then after logging in, you have to go to manage account and you will get 5 credits for free. Uh, you have to go to API keys and create a new API key. Do not share this API key with anyone and do not uh, use this API key as I will delete it. Now let's code it. The first thing we need to do is implement the text to speech so that our virtual assistant can talk. I am using the GTTS package as it has got the best voice you can use any text to speech package you want so we need to import the gtts package now let's create a function to speak This is just setting the language and accent. This is the language, this is the accent. Now we need a music player or audio player to play the text. I am using Pygame Mixer. Uh, now there is a method to directly play the GTTS sound and this is the method you can just copy paste it we have to import this too you can just import it now this will speak anything you write like
Hello world. See, it works. Now we have to recognize what we are speaking. So I will use the speech recognition. And create a function that listen. This is how you create uh, it auto completed. That's nice. Mm, this is all correct. It auto completed because I'm using the AWS Code Whisper. Now just do this. Wow, it got completed this too. This will listen to anything we say and it will recognize it. Let's test it. Oh, wait for me. Now it will work. Hello. See, it works. Now let's create a greet function which will greet us when the program starts. I'm pretty sure this will auto complete this too. Yes, it did. That's nice. Now let's create a main function and call greet. Yes. We can test it. Wait, it didn't work. So oh, we have to call me. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Oh, it worked this time. Okay, so this all is working. Now we have to call the OpenAI API. Import OpenAI. Then you have to paste the API key here. I don't know whose API key this is. Paste the API key here. Now you have to give the OpenAI API a context uh, like role is system which means we are giving it a context and then content uh, is how it will behave you can say like wait you can say this 
give it a context now let's call the API we have to check that we have spoken something so if query not equal to none message equals query if message message messages dot append and then we have to get the reply this is how we get the reply and then model name which is gpt 3.5 turbo This will return a array of messages and we want the first reply. This should be indented. this will get the reply and we have to append it to now the problem with this API is it speaks a lot of back ticks or back quotes and it is kind of annoying to hear it again and again so we will have to remove it After removing, we have to print the message. Now uh, we have to speak it. So, this I think it is complete now. Let's try it. Good morning. Hello. Hello, I'm Alexa, your helpful assistant. How can I assist you today? Introduce yourself. Oh my God. As an artificial intelligence language model, I don't have the capability to see in the way humans do. My knowledge comes from analyzing and processing text. However, I exist as a software program that runs on servers, and developers like Devon Sharora can modify or access my code as needed. Introduce yourself. Sure, I'm Alexa, an AI-powered assistant designed to help you with various tasks and answer your questions. I was created by Devon Sharora and my main objective is to make your life easier by providing useful information and assisting with your concerns. 
Just ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. As you can see it is working but now we have to, uh, we have to quit it so we have to check if the query is quit like this. Good morning. Quit. Goodbye. What? Oh. Is there something I can help you with? What we can do is we can turn it into lowercase. Good morning. Quit. I again spoke soon. Good morning. Quit. This is all. All the code is in my GitHub. I have the link in the description. You can check it.